So you bought yourself an electric gray 3x4 surf prep sanding system, or you're thinking about buying one. Well, today I'm gonna to walk through probably something you're not thinking about when you buy a sanding system. Something really unique to this. So you're probably thinking, oh, I'm gonna buy it to sand through a finish to distress a piece of your painting, or even the scuffing part of prep. But did you know there's one more step even before all of those things that this little bad boy will save you a lot of time on? And that is cleaning your piece. Yes, folks, you can use your sander to clean. So if you're interested in figuring out like what am I talking about and how that works, stay tuned today. All right, so first and foremost, you're saying to yourself, why would I use a sander to clean? But I'm here to tell you, this, the, that cleaning part can be kind of cumbersome, just like sanding, you know, the constant movement can be, you know, tiring the, on your wrist, your elbows. I'm a little bit older guy, so I have wrist issue, issues, which is another reason why I bought the surf prep sanding system. But it can also be that same way when you're cleaning. And just think about having something that's automated that's gonna do all that nice yummy cleaning for you. So how does that work? How do you take your sander and clean with it. Well, these are the steps you're gonna to need to take. So you have your three by four surf prep electric gray. And of course it has, this is the vacuum version. So I'm gonna to need to take the vacuum off because we're obviously not gonna be sucking any fluids or anything through the system because that would be bad. So you wanna take this thing off. For those that are brand new, this thing goes on counterclockwise. So if you're having trouble with your hose staying on, you're probably screwing it on and trying to have it go on clockwise. So clockwise will unscrew it, pop that guy off. So that's first and foremost, you gotta get that hose out of the way just because you wanna make sure that you're not doing any, have any kind of, you know, pulling water through the system. We're just gonna be using the outer pad area to actually clean whatever it is you're doing. So I have this beautiful all wood piece here. We're going to go through a little bit of the actual cleaning process for you guys. So you have your electric gray, right? So next up, because you do not have the suction going through, which is going to pull air through, which is going to cool down your electric gray, you need to take the vents off. And if you didn't know, if you're brand new, you might not even knew that these were on here, but you have little vents on the sides and they're covered by these little plastic pieces. And what that's gonna do is obviously keep the airflow going through and into your shop vac and cool down your system. So if you ever ever noticed it got hot and you're not using a vacuum system, you know that that is why. It's overheating because it's not getting proper ventilation. So you wanna pull these little guys off. If they're real simple, just little plastic pieces you're gonna pull off or rubber, this is kind of what it feels like. And you're gonna pull those off. Now that we don't have the shop vac connected, we have that ventilation, won't overheat, be good to go. And then the main part of this thing is you're gonna need these non-woven maroon colored, and these are the non-woven maroon abrasives. And this is actually in a 320 grit, if you're looking for what kind of grit this is. So what this kind of feels like and something, if you followed me for a while, you know I've used as a part of my cleaning process is like a Scotch-Brite pad. So I've used in the past where I've had the sponge on one side and that green kind of abrasive sponge just like this on the other side. Although that way I was having to do it by hand with my own motion over and over and over and over and over all over the piece. Well. This has been quite the revelation. I'm going to show you. It's really cool. I got this specifically for sanding, distressing, scuffing. And then shortly after I purchased it, I realized there were some more little tips and tricks that you can use. So I wanted to share with you guys. So you take your non-woven. So it's, here's a little box. It's non-woven maroon abrasives. And this is a three by four pad and 320 grit. And all you got to do, and you can see this one's a little bit dirty because I've already tested it and played with it a little bit, is just going to stick it right on here. So basically you have an automated Scotch-Brite pad connected to something that's going to do all the work for you. So you're going to need that. So that's the most important part, okay? We've taken off the hose, we've opened up the vents, 
we put on our non-woven pad. So now you need to know, okay, what kind of product do I want to use to clean? And the best product you can use is something that's gonna be a degreaser because you ultimately want to pull back any of the oils, any of the dirt, grime, whatever it might be on your piece. And for me, the best product I found as a green product is Green Easy. You can find that through wiselpaint.com. I'll have that in the video description below for you guys to use. You will dilute this in water. And that's usually what I have. This black tape is denotes that. So I know I don't get it mixed up with any water products, but this is my mixture. So pour a little bit in, pour a little water. You can use it straight, but this stuff is very, very strong. It, it's, it could be used actually as a stripper. That's how strong this is. So if you're looking for something along those lines, you can use a straight or dilute it as a amazing degreaser. So this is what I use and what we're going to use with the surf prep today. So what we're going to do is just kind of clear out a little spot. I probably will turn the camera down and zoom in a little bit and we're going to spray. We're going to turn this guy on. Of course, I'll probably go ahead and do a voiceover just because it might be a little bit loud, although this is not too loud. The shop vac's probably louder than the surf prep. But we will zoom in, turn it down, and you're basically going to see, I'm going to spray just like I would normally, turn this on, let this thing do the work, and you'll see it's going to produce the you know bubbles and the, all the action of what you would expect from something scrubbing, but in a way in which you're not doing the work. I'm basically just gonna hold this thing and let the machine do the work as far as cleaning. Instead of having to do that aggressive kind of motion over and over and over all over this piece, again, we're gonna let the surf prep do it for me. All right, so we have you all zoomed in. This is our non-woven maroon abrasive that we're gonna be using for our cleaning process. And again, it's just as easy as attaching it to your pad, stick that guy on there right there, and just to reiterate, no hose, no suction, no shop back. Make sure you have your vent guards off so it can actually do its thing with the air and make sure it doesn't get hot on you. Because that's one of those things I've seen on groups is people wonder why it gets so hot. Make sure you take those guards off if you're not using your shop back with it. So I'm gonna turn this on. I'm gonna put you guys on voiceover and I'm gonna talk through on the voiceover exactly what I'm about to do. All right, so we're first and foremost going to get our Green EZ, and this is our cleaning agent, and I have it diluted in my spray bottle, as I mentioned earlier. So we're going to go ahead and take that, we're going to spray it on our surface, just like you would if you were going to scrub it with, you know, a rag or anything. I'm going to turn my surf prep on, make sure I got the settings good. Now you can have it up all the way, or all the way down, because it is a 320, and it's uh, just a scrubber and not an actual sanding paper. You're not gonna peel the surface away even if you have it on the highest setting, so it doesn't matter either or. But as you can see, it's just this easy. You're gonna spray and let the machine do all the scrubbing. And you can imagine how much cleaner it's probably gonna be in comparison to you just doing it by hand as well because of the action that that thing has taken to really scrub and pull up all the, the, the grease that the degreaser is doing for you. And folks, that's all there is to it. Spray, turn your surf prep on, and you're gonna wipe off. And probably something you're wondering is how aggressive of the 320 is it? Is it gonna like push the dirt down into the grain? And the answer is no. The 320 is just enough, and you can see how well that degreaser is working. It's gonna be aggressive enough to clean, but not too aggressive to actually take the grain down. As you can see, it's not sanding. It's just like that green side of the Scotch-Brite pad. And look at that, look at how much that's come off. Even more to the point of why proper prep is so important. You want paint to stick to this, dirt and grime. I think it's going to, it's not. So it's not gonna be that aggressive. And I think that's one of the biggest points I wanted to hit across from me testing and playing was that a lot of times you don't want to sand into a finish and clean at the same time because you're going to be pushing the dirt and grime down into the finish, which is going to make it harder to clean ultimately. But this is a 320 and with it being a 320, it's really just scrubbing the top surface. So you can see it did not peel back the finish. That will be the next step. 
after we get this thing all nice and cleaned up, we will get to the scuffing. And that's just another part of proper prep. But for today's video, I just wanted to quickly, I mean, that's just how easy it was. I mean, that was 15 seconds worth of work. You can imagine the rest of the piece take me a couple minutes. Whereas me trying to do it by hand, not only is more work, but it's gonna be harder on me actually physically to go through and do all those things. And having the three and a half by four is really gonna allow me to get into really cool areas because it's that square shape that's gonna allow me to get in and around edges and corners and places where honestly, it's just kind of a pain when you're trying to do it by hand. All right, and just to share another example of exactly what I was saying about how this is gonna be a lot easier to get into those nooks and crannies and corners this drawer is a great example. You can see how this is going to get right down into every single corner and have no problem at all cleaning down in those areas and in and around. It's going to press down a little bit. So it's just like when you're using it to sand because it's a foam, well, a foam, but it's this non woven abrasive. It has a little bit of give to it. So even if you have some rounded edges or some corners, you can kind of press it down in there and that's going to clean it as well. So another really cool part about it being a little bit thicker is it's going to round and go corners. And again, it's a 320, so it's not aggressive at all. So it's just going to clean, not going to sand. So going around those edges with that to clean is going to be really easy to do. So we're going to do this real quick just to kind of show you guys again another little cool way to utilize this thing. So we're going to jump back over to voiceover turn this on, spray, show you a little bit more on how easy it's gonna be to clean drawers for a piece. All right, so this drawer, I mean, is like the perfect example of exactly what I'm talking about. Having this three by four surf prep as another tool in your toolbox to not only do all the sanding stuff, but the cleaning. I mean, look at this, the corners it's getting into is crazy, incredible. It's got a little give so it can get around the rounded edges and you're not having to worry about tearing up the corners. And that degreaser, I don't know if you noticed, but there was little drips just from spraying it on alone. So it's some good stuff. So you put these two tools together and you have amazing, easy cleaning. All right, and there you go, just that easy. Again, we're gonna take my blue shop towel and just kind of wipe back and you can see the dirt. It's bringing up even from down in the corners because it's I got that cornered edge. It allowed me to get down in there. And just another example of why you wanna do proper prep, which is gonna include a little bit of scrubbing sometimes, especially look at that. When you have a older piece that's just been sitting around, it's been pledged, it's just, you know, older has the grease and grime from people touching it and really the old oils from whatever was used on it from back in the day. And another really important reason why you wanna have a, a really good cleaning agent. And this Green EZ again is, you know, it's really uh, not, doesn't have that harsh chemical smell, um, something that obviously works really, really well. And it's just like the perfect pairing with the Surf Prep because you can dilute it in water, spray it on, take your surf prep, go over top, wipe back, and your cleaning step is done. So there you have it, quite literally the down and dirty of cleaning with your 3x4 electric ray surf prep sanding system. Biggest things have a really good degreaser that's gonna allow it to cut through whatever dirt and grime that you have and let your surf prep do the work for you. I mean, again, I bought this thing. I was thinking I was gonna sand some tops to turn them into wood. It was gonna do some scuffing part of prep, but had no thoughts whatsoever that cleaning would ever be a part of what a sander can do. So hopefully, short as it was, this video was helpful and lets you just see a couple of those other little aspects of having one of these systems that's gonna make it worth your while. My very first video I did right after I bought it was is this surf prep sanding system worth it? And one of the things I hinted at was there was more to it than just sanding. Well, today's the day I wanted to finally share a little bit more about that after I've had time to play and truly test so I can tell you, hey, this is, this is legit. This is something that's really gonna be helpful for cleaning where you don't have to just, you know, beat yourself up, you know, doing it by hand. So just another really cool way to utilize your surf prep three by four sanding systems. If you have any questions about this, 
please leave them in the comments down below. If this was helpful at all, enlighten you at all about another way to utilize the system, please subscribe, please hit like, please comment down below if there's anything else you'd like to see or are curious about within the surf prep sanding system family. I'm gonna have a comparison video coming very soon from this to the five inch for those who've asked about that. And then of course, don't forget, if you decide to go ahead and get yourself a surf prep sanding system, or if you just wanna test out the rad pads, which is a whole nother video, be sure to use my discount code gentleman10 for 10% off. I'll have that in the video description down below as well. Hope everybody has a blessed day and as always, happy painting.